Hello, I'm Dr. Paracha. We're excited you have chosen the John Kenyon American Eye Institute for your vision needs. You're about to see a video on cataract removal. This video will explain the procedure in detail and answer most common questions. Afterwards, if you have any additional questions, my staff or I will be happy to answer them for you. Cataract is a common eye condition that affects millions of people, particularly as they get older. Everyone, if they live long enough, will eventually develop cataracts. Over time, cataracts can often affect your vision, causing symptoms like blurriness, poor night vision, or glare that gradually worsen if the cataracts are not removed. Fortunately, your eye surgeon can remove your cataracts and in the vast majority of cases, restore good vision. In this video, we'll look at how cataracts affect your vision. We'll meet people who had cataracts, see how they were treated, and how their lives have improved after cataract surgery. But first, Let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter our eyes through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, a light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. While 70% of the eye's focusing power comes from the cornea, it is the lens that helps to fine-tune our focusing ability. In the healthy eye, the lens is clear and allows light rays to pass through unobstructed. As a cataract forms, the lens gradually becomes cloudy. As light passes through this cloudy lens, it is no longer clearly focused on the retina, causing images to appear hazy or blurred. My vision was blurry. Uh, it was getting more and more difficult for me to read the newspaper, to see the fine writing on the television set, uh, to read the telephone book. About two years ago, when it came time to renew my driver's license, I could not pass the uh, vision test. And the lady examiner kept repeating only one line, go back and see your ophthalmologist. Night driving, the glare was terrible. I mean, I had uh, uh, oncoming lights were awful. Uh, well, I was told years ago, a good 20 years ago, that I was going to develop early cataracts or, there, or that there was a good chance of that happening. And uh, this was because my father had the same problem. So my, uh, the, my problem is hereditary. Because most cataracts develop slowly, you may not notice your vision changing at first. But as the cataract progresses, it may start to interfere with your daily activities. If you have a cataract, the effect is like trying to see the world through a dirty windshield. What a cataract does is it makes things cloudy, a little smeary almost. I'd mentioned that it's like Vaseline over, over a lens, like somebody had just smeared it. Things were fuzzy. I could still see colors, but they weren't bright. And the cataract makes it look like I have a, a yellow haze over what I, my vision. The glasses worked fine uh, until the last maybe couple of years where the cataracts really got increasingly worse. So my vision got dimmer as such, and um, I knew something had to be done. With my Coke bottle lenses and my glasses, um, I, I could have gotten by, I suppose, with that for a while yet, but uh, I knew I couldn't pass a driver's test. It should be noted that since most cataracts are part of the normal aging process, they cannot be reversed. There are no medications or eye drops that will make cataracts go away. When a cataract is causing bothersome vision problems, cataract surgery may be advised. Prior to cataract surgery, your ophthalmologist will perform a thorough eye exam to make sure you are a candidate for the procedure. If your ophthalmologist finds other conditions in your eye that might prevent a good outcome, surgery may not be advised. In deciding to proceed with cataract surgery, you should consider the risks, benefits, and possible limitations in your particular case. My doctor sp spoke to me about the risks, but I had no uh, qualms about going in. My ophthalmologist talked to me about the risks of surgery, but on, on the other hand, you have to, there's risks in all surgery. Usually with cataract surgery, a small incision is made in the eye. The front portion of the thin outer covering of the lens is opened to allow removal of the cataract inside. The cataract is gently broken up and vacuumed out. 
than a folded lens implant is inserted through the small incision and into the capsule where it unfolds and permanently takes the place of the clouded natural lens. With a cataract removed, the new lens implant clearly focuses light rays onto the retina. The power of the lens implant is selected for your individual eye. Traditionally, the lens implanted during cataract surgery allows uncorrected vision at a distance. That means glasses are usually required to see clearly close up. Now, in some cases, a specially designed lens can be implanted which allows the ability to focus at near, intermediate, and distance, thereby minimizing your dependence on glasses or contacts. This specialized lens implant is called a multifocal intraocular lens. A multifocal lens can be of several designs, but most have several or multiple rings of different powers built into the lens. The part of the lens you look through will determine if you see clearly at a far, near, or intermediate distance. This is sometimes called pseudo-accommodation. Another type of lens implant, called an accommodative lens, is hinged to work in coordination with the eye's natural focusing mechanism. The design allows the accommodative lens to move forward as the eye focuses on near objects, and move backward as it focuses on distant objects. After surgery, you'll need to follow your doctor's directions. For example, you'll need to use eye drops as prescribed. Avoid rubbing your eye, and notify your doctor immediately if you experience pain or loss of vision. Cataract surgery is a common procedure performed successfully on millions of people worldwide each year. But as with any surgery, you should be aware of the potential risks of cataract surgery. Risks include infection, bleeding inside the eye, increased pressure inside the eye, and swelling of the retina. Also, months or even years after your cataract surgery, part of your lens capsule may gradually become hazy, causing a decrease in your vision. Normally, this can be treated easily with a laser procedure. If you have another condition, such as macular degeneration, glaucoma, or diabetes, even uncomplicated cataract surgery may not give you the vision you desire. Before scheduling the surgery, you should discuss your vision goals with your ophthalmologist so you clearly understand what cataract surgery can and cannot do for you. Well, after the surgeries, I can, uh, I can see the uh, signs on the highway now sooner than I can before. Uh, used to be a little exciting to get to the exit uh, very close before I saw that it was the right exit. Now I've got a little more chance to. The biggest difference now uh, before and after cataracts is that you can see finer detail. Uh, before there were things that were somewhat fuzzy and uh, I guess almost impressionistic I guess, I guess you, you could say. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, everything is clarified, it's tightened up and I, I enjoy looking at things much more. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know if you need anything or if you have any additional questions. I look forward to meeting you.